Hi guys, so this week's episode is Die Hand Die Burlets. Some of the X-Files episodes have the craziest names and I cannot be blamed for the fact that like who knows how to pronounce that. Sometimes I'll go to cons and people will like start talking to each other about episode names and it's very weird to see how different people pronounce it different ways. So don't blame me for not being able to pronounce this one. This is a classic X-Files episode from season two. Really great plot, really great case file, really weird solid Mulder and Scully moments so the episode opens up and we see all of these teachers sitting around you know like having a staff meeting or something it seems very normal very conservative like whatever and then all of a sudden they just start praying to Satan like that's chill close the door like nothing to see here nothing's going on just you know classic worshiping Satan then there's a bunch of kids and they're walking through the forest and all of a sudden they pull out some candles and shit and start chanting to Satan too I'm sorry what is with this town what is with these people y'all need Jesus then because they're chanting to Satan all of these rats spring up everywhere there's fire and all of a sudden there's this kid and he's getting strangled but by who we don't know we don't see so Mulder and Scully arrive on the scene and the sheriff is kind of trying to tell him that there's rumors all over town that kids like go into the woods and they're all in some cult or something and the sheriff thinks that it's because these kids are listening to heavy metal music like okay here's the thing it's like everybody in this town is two kinds of crazy the kind of crazy where you think that people are worshiping the devil because they listen to heavy metal or the kind of crazy where you're actually worshiping the devil and listening to whatever music you want where are the people who just don't worship the devil where are those people so scully's just like bitch like mm, not buying it meanwhile Mulder's kind of like yeah i think that this whole like cult saint thing could be a real thing scully looks beautiful by the way i know i say this every episode i'm gonna keep saying it i mean just look at her face look at it how does she do it then frogs start raining down on Mulder and scully like lol classic iconic one of a kind scene <laughs> So, lunch? Mulder, toads just fell from the sky. Just the parachutes didn't open. You were saying something about this place not feeling odd? Later on, Scully tells Mulder that there were tornadoes in the area so that the winds could have like picked up the animals and dropped them somewhere else. And the way that she tells him is just so funny. It's like she's really trying to convince herself. She's like... The National Weather Service says there are tornadoes in northern Massachusetts. The wind probably picked up the animals into the storm. It's like kind of so cute. And then Mulder sees that the kids checked out this like witch hunt book from the library, which totally lends itself to his like witchy Satan theory. Mulder and Scully hit up the school and they interview the kids that were there in the forest that night. Obviously they say they didn't do it, but as they're interviewing them, the Satan cult teachers are like watching the interview happen outside and discussing like what to do. They're trying to figure out which one of them killed that kid in the forest. Like who casually has these conversations? conversations at school. Mulder and Scully let the kids go. They're like, obviously they didn't do it. And the teachers are pissed, which is wild because they're just trying to blame it on the kids. These Satan worshipers are actually just a bunch of assholes. Like, you guys are the adults. What are you doing? After they talk to them, Mulder goes out into the hallway while Scully's like babbling and skeptic over his shoulder and he's drinking from the water fountain and notices that the water is going counterclockwise and he freaks out. Something's here, Scully. Something is here, Scully. Is it? After being interviewed, these kids are like a little shook up and one of the teachers tells one of the girls that like, you know, if she ever needs to talk to just let her know. She's like, cool, thanks, whatever, teacher, and like walks out. And then we see the teacher open up a drawer and there's like this really disgusting fake heart and fake eyeballs. Props department, get it together. And the teacher just sets the papers down on top of it. Like that is not sanitary. Also, why are you casually storing organs in your desk drawer? alongside your papers like you don't think some kid's gonna get their test back and see blood all over it not think that's fucking weird then this bitch same teacher bitch she starts like passing out these like dead baby fetus pigs which is just so disturbing <sighs> this episode should come with a warning and the kids like have to dissect them and one of the girls starts like hallucinating that the pig is alive and its heart's beating and 
It's a very X-Files sequence, but it's also very disturbing. I don't know what it is about the X-Files and these like disturbing episodes that are also the ones that we love to watch. Like why is that? Anyway, this girl Shannon has a total meltdown, freaks out, starts screaming. So Mulder and Scully talk to her and she tells us this crazy story. Basically, she starts talking about how her stepdad used to like sexually abuse her and he would like take her out into the woods and all of these people in robes would show up and like rape and impregnate her and then kill her babies in satanic rituals. It's honestly so wild and the scene lasts forever. Kind of an excellent example of how X-Files episodes often mishandle plots involving rape or sexual abuse. We never find out if her story's true, like clearly satanic ritual things are happening, but like are we just supposed to be able to drop this horrid imagery into a plot line and then just never deal with it again? As an audience member we're supposed to just be like, all right, well maybe she was you know raped from the time she was a child and they killed her babies like maybe that happened what spoiler alert there's no good explanation for why she ever says any of this stuff because three seconds later she ends up dead yep that's right so then Mulder goes and confronts the stepdad who like we've already seen is part of this actual crazy cult this is some horrifying shit and the stepdad loses his mind he like shatters a glass with his hand and is like making doors fly open and close and gets super angry at Mulder. It's just like <sighs> next level scary. Cut to crazy teacher who is letting Shannon redissect the pig to save her grade or some shit. And she goes into her office while Shannon is trying to like, you know, do her thing. And she casts some witchy ass spells to make her kill herself. Shannon's dead. Shannon's dead. She was maybe a victim of violent sexual abuse throughout her childhood, but we'll never know because she's dead. And like, why does the crazy teacher make her kill herself? Just so like she will stop spouting this stuff? Because it's true? Because it's not true? We don't know. So then the group of crazy Satanists and teachers get together and they're like, you know what's a good idea? We should just blame all of this on Shannon because she's dead now and she's the perfect scapegoat. Like, let's just say she's the one who killed that kid in the forest and like everything will be fine. These people suck. Mulder and Scully begin to suspect the crazy witchy teacher who's, you know, got her fucking heart in her desk. Why haven't they found that? And apparently no one at the school even remembers hiring her. Scully even is getting kind of like wrapped up in the narrative that she might be sketchy. Then the stepdad admits to Mulder that he did involve Shannon as a child in these rituals, but they like made her forget. And now like for some reason she's remembering, but she's remembering everything wrong and more violently and she was never sexually assaulted so she's just remembering the ritual part sounds fake but okay and he admits all this because he's pissed at all the other teachers that they're like yeah let's blame shannon for everything that works and he's like no that's the line like why is this your line dude all Mulder's like dealing with the stepdad he gets a call from scully and it's like she's in peril she's in danger he freaks out he's like gotta go he handcuffs the stepdad to like a piece of furniture or some shit and bolts the fuck out of there. Meanwhile, crazy teacher is cast in more spells and there is a giant ass snake that is coming for this stepdad's ass. It like suffocates him to death real good. He's gone. So guess what? He's dead now too more hey we're never gonna know what happened to shannon in the fucking forest Mulder runs to scully who is like fine yo it was the crazy teacher casting spells she magicked up scully's voice to make Mulder leave the stepdad so she could kill him so Mulder and scully run back to the stepdad find his like bones just like stripped bare and then this giant snake skin which is hilarious. The remaining cult members gather, trying to figure out what to do. Mulder and Scully go to the school. They find the crazy teacher like all bloody. Like, is she tricking them? Is she actually dead? Is it a guise? We don't know. There's some really solid Mulder and Scully flashlight work. Iconic imagery right here. Honestly, this entire episode would be worth watching just for these shots of them with the flashlights alone. But then the Satan cult busts in on Mulder and Scully and they like beat the shit out of Mulder and a bookcase is falling on Scully. It's madness. 
then they're dragging them by their feet across the gymnasium to the locker rooms. They put them in the shower. They're like all tied up, like getting wet. And they're like gonna kill them. And even though they're gonna kill them, mostly all I can think about right now is the fact that like Mulder and Scully are laying down next to each other, like all tied up and wet. There is something inherently attractive about that. Just stating facts here. But then the crazy teacher is magicking again and she makes all of the Satan cult members like kill each other and themselves and like Mulder and Scully end up fine. And in the process, Mulder like covers Scully with his body in this really romantic hot gesture. This is amazing stuff we got. Then afterwards, Mulder and Scully go into the school. They don't look quite as wet as they should, but whatever, we'll take it. And they find this like creepy goodbye message written on the blackboard. So it's like the crazy teacher was like a visiting witch and she saved Mulder and Scully, but she also killed Shannon. What was her goal? What was her end game? And I'm mostly still just distracted by the fact that Mulder and Scully are still wet. So yeah, there you have it. An episode that pretty much covers everything that's both great and terrible about the X-Files. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Go check out my other videos or subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon with another X-Files video.